This one has to take the cake for possibly the strangest advent calendar I've ever seen. It's 12 days of a different hot sauce. <laughs> Let's go into the 1st of December, or I guess this is like supposed to be 12 days before Christmas. Is it a bottle? This is impossible to get. This is a really bad quality advent calendar. You literally have one job. Maybe they want this to be child safe. Maybe it's that spicy. I'll never be able to get this out. This is just not possible. I love when I need a whole tool to open my hot sauce. So day number one is the Fiery Diablo hot sauce from, I guess the brand of this is like Fajita Fiesta. Who's celebrating Christmas like this? I genuinely love hot sauce, I love spicy food, but these companies have too much power. The quality of this advent calendar, it's like a two out of 10. It is impossible to get stuff out. So I do wonder if this gets progressively spicier. So I'm going to line them up in order. So day number one is Fiery Diablo. Day number two is Mexico. Day number three is Jalapeno Hot Sauce. So I guess, I don't know if this is progressively getting spicier. It's kind of difficult to tell by the name. These advent calendars are so strange. They had at least the job of making this Functional. Functional it is not. I'm assuming this is not in order of spiciness because day number four is the garlic one. So I'm assuming this is not, it's not getting spicier. It's just random. But at least there's going to be 12 different ones. So that's actually great. Day number five is smoke and chipotle. Day number six, I'm going to rate these mostly in level of repetition. I want every house to have a different one. And that's like probably the most important thing for me. So day number six is a smoky bourbon. I thought that it was a whiskey or something. Oh, day number seven is terrific. We're getting to the last line. There's not been a single repetition yet. Day number eight is orange. Day number nine is green. Day number 10 is Jamaican hot sauce. And now this is like when you're like two days before Christmas. Depends when you open this, I guess. So the one before the end is the mango habanero one. I guess they put the most popular ones towards the end when I think it would have been so much fun if it got progressively hotter. Like kind of like a challenge advent calendar. That is the only way that this would be something that would make sense and it would be fun instead of just who the hell asked for this. So the grand finale. This is a 12. This is the one that's gonna break the whole calendar. Okay, the 12 is... The 12 is extremely hot. That is the only description of it, which is pretty descriptive actually. And that concludes our advent calendar that was very difficult to open. I need to know if the first one, the fiery Diablo one, is spicy and is the last one spicier than the first one. Overall, this one is a really strange advent calendar. I don't know who this is for. This is so difficult to open. I don't know why they're acting like this is a, a CVS Advil advent calendar or something, because this is childproof. A medicated advent calendar. Now that's something that we'd all need for Christmas. I'm like, I cannot wait for the 24th when I get some Percocet. I want to try day number one and the last one, and I'm hoping that the last one is a lot hotter. So this is day number one, which is Fiery Diablo. I literally cannot open this. The whole process is wild. I just can't open it. <laughs> that smells really good. It's very much hot sauce. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Oh. That is, that is a great hot sauce. Maybe I take back everything I said. <laughs> Maybe I need this for Christmas. That is extremely delicious, but it's not like crazy spicy. So I'm gonna try the spiciest one. This is the 24th before we move on to the next one. The first is spicy, but it's nothing too insane that like I wouldn't be able to handle. The packaging is spicier than the product inside. Here we got the 24th, which is the extremely hot. Let's give it a shake like this is a ginger shot. Bottoms up and the devil laughs. I'm crying. 
just go join the lineup. I'm okay, I'm fine. I have a feeling that if you leave one of these out for Santa, Santa might need to do a few stops along the way. It's quite something. And now comes the cold sweats. No, this is fine. This is totally fine. Merry Christmas. <sighs> Never again. Spoiler alert, as this video progresses, these are about to get stranger and stranger and stranger and stranger and stranger and my lips are burning so much right now that I don't even know what I'm saying. If someone guesses what this is in the comment section, I will personally write you a letter and a TGI Friday's gift card. This is a freeze-dried fruit advent calendar. Someone blended fruit freeze-dried it, turned fruit into a powder, put it into a little can, and made an advent calendar in which every single day of the year is a different fruit. <laughs> freeze-dried! Advent calendar corporate needs to be stopped today. So I'm gonna start with the 1st of December. There's actually, ouch, ouch. I'm hoping and guessing that there's 24 different ones. So on the 1st of December, this is what you get from Santa. Freeze-dried mango. <laughs> this advent calendar was kind of expensive and it makes sense because it's fruit, it's real fruit, freeze-dried. So inside, this is kind of what it looks like. I don't think I've ever purchased freeze-dried fruit, so this is what it looks like. Oh, there's nothing more Christmassy than freeze-dried mango. That is incredible. Wow, wait, because this is actually kind of great. <laughs> so, that's the first. On the second, we've got, wait, this is not fruit. <laughs> On the second, we've got freeze-dried beetroot. <laughs> if someone has a pet rabbit, you know exactly what I mean. I don't need to say anymore. Wait, it's freeze-dried beetroot. When I told you this video was gonna shock you, this is even more shocking than I was anticipating myself. This is so weird. Well, so I guess Krampus is visiting on the 2nd of December, a little bit earlier this year. That tastes like a demon has been trapped inside a can and fed cabbage for 3,000 years. And then someone freeze dried the demon and you ate it. That's what it tastes like. On the 3rd, We've got, please don't be a vegetable, freeze-dried cranberries. This is possibly the most Christmassy one. <gasps> it's a whole cranberry. How does this technology even exist? This is like nature's jelly beans. Why do I sound like a millennial vegan Instagrammer? Let me try it. It's like a capsule of oxygen that is where like your toe has been dipped in flavor cranberry. 99% texture, 1% flavor. It's interesting. I mean, the 1st of December, you had me. The mango was incredible. Um, it's been a disappointment ever since, so I really need things to pick up on the 4th of December. And things are picking up on the 4th of December. So far, I'm rating this a 10 out of 10 because the pacing has been pretty incredible because on the 4th is freeze-dried raspberries. So they will give you something nice, then something kind of gross, then something gross, then something nice. It kind of looks like candied raspberries. That is a miracle, a Christmas miracle. This is so good. This is incredible. It's just not enough of it. This is the one. Wow. On the fifth, we've got uh, blackberries. So I guess this one is kind of nice as well. And it's also whole blackberries. I'm going to get all of them out. On the sixth, we've got mandarin pieces. It's like a freeze-dried orange. Isn't like a mandarin kind of like a Christmas food? I'm not sure. I think so. It's doing things now. On the seventh, we've got... Yes, this is the one I was waiting for. Freeze-dried strawberries. When you're a week into it, you start to get really excited because it's like, if you've given me the strawberries on the 7th, I'm expecting to get better and better. So on the 8th, we've got... What could potentially be better than strawberries? Carrots. <laughs> These are freeze-dried carrots. A perfect snack for the young professional vegan in the office. On the 9th, I feel like they've done every fruit and vegetable and we're only on the day nine. I have no idea how weird this is gonna get. On the ninth, we've got uh, gooseberries. Okay, now you're just making things up. This is like whenever I hear about a new animal. I'm like, 
Don't get ideas now. We're too deep into it now. <laughs> I've never heard of a gooseberry. I thought there was a derogatory term. On the 10. Oh, and I broke the thing. We've got black currants. They haven't repeated a single thing. So 10 completely unique vegetables and fruits. So honestly, as much as I want to hate this, it's kind of given. And look at this. It's like a gradient of colors. It's actually pretty incredible. On the 11th, we've got... Oh, kiwi pieces. I love kiwi. On the 11, we've got uh, the kiwi pieces. These look incredible. On the 12, we've got... They're just making things up now. It says red currant on it, and it's... What is this, a red currant? I've heard of a black currant, but a red one? What about a blue currant? It's probably just a blueberry. Oh, wait, we haven't had blueberries yet. So on the 13th is... It's corn! <laughs> On the 13th, it's literally corn. <laughs> Imagine you're so excited for your advent calendar. It's the 13th, you're halfway through the month. Santa's like, can I tempt you with a little container, a little shot of corn, freeze dried corn. I'm not making this up. Popcorn for the young vegan professional. On the 14th, we've got strawberries. <gasps> I knew it. It was too good to be true. So this is the first one in which repeats. So on the 14th is another strawberry. I knew it was too good to be real. I knew we didn't have that many vegetables. On the 15th, please don't be repeated. We've... A what? <laughs> A thesalus? <laughs> I'm really cautious about any fruit in which the name starts with feces. This is called thesalus. <laughs> Isn't that how they died in the Hunger Games or something? I don't know. This is looking suspicious. Why would you repeat the strawberry if you still had Vesalis in you? I don't think having Vesalis in you is a good sign. So on the 16th, we've got... Apple! Okay, so you still had apple in you. So on the 16th, we've got some apple pieces. 17th, we've got blueberries, which we've been waiting for. <gasps> Freeze-dried blueberries actually look kind of sad because they're very dark and very tiny. It's also giving rabbit poo. I mean, this looks like Kim Kardashian's pantry. Like, it looks great. This looks like it's not realistic that you own this many vegetables, even though they're freeze-dried. On the 19th, we've got... These names are getting crazier and crazier. This is me when someone asks me what's my favorite sports team. It's called a C. Buckthorn. I'm showing you the names because you're not gonna believe me, but that's actually what they wrote. So this is a C. Buckthorn. On the 18th of December, baby Jesus brought me some C. Buckthorns. Thank you, Jesus. On the 19th, we've got a lingonberry. I think I've heard about this one. So I thought it was just another name for, I don't know, some kind of red berries. Oh, this is getting like really exciting. So we've only got the 20th. So on the 20th, what? Imagine you ate 20 days. You eat corn along the way. For on the 20th of December, they give you peas, 100% peas. Oh wait, I just realized I love wasabi peas, so that's actually not a bad idea. So this is when he gets spicy. Oh wait, no, not spicy again. Never mind. This is when he doesn't get spicy. Fingers crossed. On the 21st... So invested in this now. We've got... Blueberries! See, this is the moment where you don't repeat, because I'm excited and invested. So this is only the second repetition, but these blueberries are actually different. They're bigger. So I do think even the strawberries, they're different types of strawberries. So it, technically there's no repetition. Do you see how these blueberries are huge in comparison to the other ones? I think they're technically not repeating anything. So the 22nd, you got banana slices. That is making sense. I'm not sure if I've ever had freeze dried banana, but it sounds like it would be delicious. Like this has to be incredible. On the 23rd, we've got Oh, this is the day before Christmas. The suspense. 100% freeze-dried cherries. That looks so good. And that also makes sense. I feel like cherries, I don't think they're a Christmas food, but they kind of, they look like a Christmas food. They're red. This is the very last one. I'm expecting freeze-dried cabbage because I can't think of one more that they didn't put in here. On the 24th, we've got...
I've ruined Christmas. I'm so sorry. On the 24th of December, we've got 100% freeze-dried pineapple. That actually looks really good. I think pineapple would probably be one of the tastiest ones. Have we had pineapple before? No. In reality, there's no repetition. There's technically two strawberries and two blueberries, but they're different species. Look at me. You buy me a vegan advent calendar and suddenly I'm speaking species. This is insane. This all came from one advent calendar. Like, how insane is this? This is like one of the craziest things I've ever seen. The concept is weird, otherwise it wouldn't be in this video. But I also think this is probably the most original, healthy, but also still delicious advent calendar I've ever seen. I would genuinely love to receive this. I would think this is the most weird, incredible, exciting thing I've ever received. I wanna try the freeze-dried pineapple. I guess we're always the most excited about the last one. So this is what freeze-dried pineapple looks like. It's almost like candied, except it doesn't have the sugar. It's only the natural sugars. That is... That is the best thing I've ever eaten out of an advent calendar. It is delicious. The 24th is the best 24th I've ever opened. You could have given me an iPhone and I'd be like, no, I want the freeze-dried pineapple. That is so good. Should we try the freeze-dried bananas as well? I feel like they're gonna be very good as well. I'm just basically picking the ones that are like the most sugary, because they'll taste better. So this is a freeze-dried banana. 10 out of 10. That is incredible. The quality of this, I'm gonna close this up and re-gift it to myself. This is so good. This on top of like some yogurt or something, or maybe like a little bit of peanut butter on bread, and then sprinkled with some of this freeze-dried banana for crunch as a cake topper. Mm -mm. Now we're talking. Let me see what else is super weird. Okay, we gotta try the sea buckhorn. <laughs> is it like corn? It's corn. <laughs> This is so weird. Imagine if I have an allergy to one of these vegetables because I've never eaten so many of these. Oh, uh -uh. that smells like fish. Guys, it literally smells like fish. I'm not exaggerating. It smells like seaweed. Worse, seaweed and farts. That is so disgusting that I have no words. That is one of the worst things I have ever eaten in my entire life. No exaggeration. What about corn? Why does no one ever care about corn? So this is freeze dried corn. Did you know this was possible? I didn't. <laughs> Did you expect this in an advent calendar? When you click this video? Probably not. So this is freeze dried corn. That is so weird, interesting, delicious. It tastes nothing like popcorn. If that's what you're thinking, that's what I was thinking. It's better than popcorn. Why can't we just eat this? I love freeze-dried food. This is so good. This is probably what corn is like in at the International Space Station. My move there. Suddenly the price for the tickets are adding up. Let me see what else is super strange that I feel like we need to try. Oh, the kiwi pieces, because that's one of my favorite fruits. I think this is green. Is it green? Pretty damn good. Honestly, apart from that weird one, they're all giving. It's a good size, you know? It's definitely not a whole lot, but it's enough to appreciate it and be excited for the next day. We obviously intended on making fun of this, and we have. It's kind of a great idea. I hate giving it to them. This is a gooseberry. I just want to do it because I don't... I don't know what a gooseberry is. It's huge. This looks like it's gonna have spiders on the inside. It looks like I'm gonna bite into it and it's gonna be like a million spiders just crawling out of my face. That's basically what it is. Look at the inside. Honestly, I kinda like it. It's kinda giving albino blueberry. That's what it tastes like. That was also my alternative name for my dog. Oh, we're gonna try the mandarin pieces because I think mandarin is like a very Christmas food, like crystallized orange. It's a thing. So we're gonna try that. Oh, this is so weird, look. It's like a real piece of orange. Even flakes like a real piece of orange, except all the moisture has been removed. I just mansplained freeze-dried food to you, and I'm sorry for that. 
That's what biting into a praying mantis. Not that I've ever done it. No, I sound like a psycho. But that's what I'm imagining it would be like. Also, no flavor. This has to be the most original advent calendar that you guys have ever seen because I honestly can't think of anything that will top this. This was so exciting that it kind of made me forget about my burning lip situation. This is incredible. 10 out of 10 life-changing. I just had to include this one because this is perhaps the strangest advent calendar in the whole video. This is technically not even an advent calendar, this is a birthday advent calendar. I've never even seen anything remotely close to this. This is made from a really famous bakery. We've even made a video in which we tested out their explosion birthday cakes. It's a very famous bakery that invented this cake where you cut into it, you slice into the cake, and the cake explodes. It's supposed to be like the ultimate, the best birthday cake that you could ever buy. They make a birthday advent calendar, which is kind of fitting. It could also be like a Christmas advent calendar, I guess. So here's the interesting thing. It looks really cool and it's got the explosion rainbow cake in the center so I'm expecting an explosion of rainbows when we open it. I mean, nothing else will do it for me. It's only seven days. So if you're using this for Christmas, you'd have to start with the seventh on... On the 18th of December, that's when you'd be able to use this advent calendar. Isn't December like the Jesus birthday? So this actually is completely appropriate. So once again, me being biblically accurate. On the 7th of our birthday advent calendar, we've got... This is about to be so exciting. What is this? It's three gummies. This was a very expensive advent calendar. Um, anyways, so far I'm having a terrible birthday, so nothing new, just the same as every year. So on the second, we've got... Three gummies. This is okay. Uh, thank you very much. I am not disappointed in the slightest. It's the number three, perfect for three gummies. On the third, we've got... It's... It's three gummies. <laughs> I repeat, three gummies. This is okay. This was not the most expensive advent calendar in the whole video. On the fourth, maybe uh, an iPhone, cake, cookies, four gummies. On the fourth, we've got three gummies. Three gummies are all different colors as well, which is perfect when you're colorblind. It's truly like a ride for your birthday. You never know what you're gonna get, even after you get it. On the sixth, we've got, um, this is like three days before your birthday. You're starting to really get hyped up now and there's nothing more than you'd like to receive than three gummies. Could even be four. On the fifth, this is the night before, oh wait. We kind of jumped one. <laughs> That's how exciting this is. Let me guess that on the fifth, we skipped three gummies. So there we go. One week before your birthday and you've received uh, every single day three gummies. This is what you received. And we paid like $50. This is fine. Um, this could have been an email, could have been a Haribo 99 cent purchase. This has to make everything worth it. This is the very day of your birthday. What are we gonna get on your birthday countdown? So, on the very first, we've got... It's not three gummies! And you know what? That's a victory for me. That is, the glass is half full. Oh, wait! Oh, I think this just fell from... From the side. You've got one of these. I don't know what this is. It's like a, one of those popping things. We'll try popping it. One patch for your clothes, like a little rainbow. So you can put that on your clothes. I guess it's like um, you iron it and it sticks to it. Seems like it. Or it might just stick as it is. It does. <laughs> so we got one of those and I guess you wait the whole week for this. A cookie. It's a real cute cookie. I will give it to them, you know, I wouldn't be mad, but it's just so cute, you know, it's just winking at me. When the cookie winks at me like that, I just can't. I suddenly want to eat the, all the gummies. It's an expensive calendar for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18 gummies. 
one cooking. That's essentially what you're getting. I'm not saying anything, I'm just being realistic. Do you just pull it like, like those popping thingies? Guess not. There's no popping anything, I don't think. Is this going to explode? I'm scared. It's paper. It's better than three gummies. Oh, it was a party popper. So we should have popped it. Guess this is where the explosion comes from. Wait, was that it? So the only way this will be worth it is if in this little paper, there's a Chili's gift card. I accept nothing less. And this is... It's a sticker. It's quite literally a sticker. I just... That's what we got. And we also got a paper. Please say Netflix for a month or something. Why did the bee get married? He finally found his honey. Why is it impossible to trust atoms? They make up everything. This gotta be a damn good cookie. This gotta be the best cookie in the world to make this all worth it because currently, this is how I'm feeling right now. That is quite literally, possibly the only cookie I've ever eaten that I truly find it non-digestible. Imagine biting into sawdust. That's what this tastes like. It is so dry, it is so flaky, it is enough of a reason for me to go get a refund. At least one of the gummy bears, please. One of them. It's so tough. It's an apple gummy bear. It is so chewy in a terrible way. This is the worst gummy bear I've ever had. You know the 99 cent Haribo? Yeah, this bakery ate. Left all the crumbs. This is gonna have the most dramatic opening out of any advent calendar you've seen. Like, who comes up with these advent calendars? Like, this is some 4D chess. These companies have officially jumped shark. It's a 24-day advent calendar for tea. Every single day up to Christmas, you get a different tea. And you can obviously hang it in your kitchen. Look how cool this would look in the kitchen. So the whole month, you would have something to look forward to. I think it's a great idea. I love tea. I'm looking at these teas and I'm thinking, oh wait, I've had most of them. So they kind of place the teas in different positions, so you have to go and look for it. So the Number one is actually here, then number two is number two is over here, three is over here. So it's kind of spread throughout to make it more fun for you. Kind of like the traditional, you know, the chocolate advent calendars, the ones they used to cost like one dollar. You know, the really cheap ones that at least I had growing up. It kind of gives that vibe of looking for something. So which one would we want to try? See, this is genius. The people who've done this, they're my kind of people. They're thinking about things. Day number one T is called feel new. So it makes sense. So I'm guessing that the 24th would be something super Christmassy. On the 24th of December, you get a nighttime tea. Do you see how that makes sense? Because you have to go to sleep. Cause it's Christmas, you're like, let's cut down the entertainment and go to sleep. And they're all kind of Christmassy. Honey, matcha, three ginger, peppermint and licorice. Matcha again, different matcha. Elderberry, I don't know what that is. I'm sure I have it, freeze dried somewhere. I wanna try the feel new. You guys know that I love day number one and day 24. Something exciting about the beginning and the end, so this is day number one. I also want day 24. Even though these are probably not my favorite ones in here, I think it's the most fun ones to try. Personally, I would probably go for, let me think which one is the best one in my opinion. Probably the lemongrass ginger. That sounds really good. Or the chamomile vanilla honey. Th that sounds really good as well. So for me, it would probably be all about the 15 or the 17, but the whole thing, like the whole idea and the way that it's made just using paper, it's pretty cool. This is really cool and it's collapsible. So if you don't drink all the teas, you can just save it in your drawer. So we're making a feeling new tea and a go to sleep tea. So this kind of cancels it out. In the end, it's like nothing happened. I think it would be disappointing if the 1st of December 
it's not Christmassy. Or if the 24th also doesn't taste Christmassy, that would be kind of disappointing. If you're someone who likes tea, you'd probably like this. If you don't like tea, you think this is the stupidest thing in the world. Either way, we can all agree that it's weird. Like coming up with this idea in first place, like who has the brains for that? So cheers. <laughs> first of December. Mm. It's not really concentrated yet, but it's Christmassy. Kind of tastes like cardamom, fennel, I don't know, something like that. This is the nighttime one, so let's make sure this is concentrated. Because trust me, I do be needing this. Should have been a nighttime for the whole 24 days. Okay, it's a little bit disappointing that it doesn't taste very Christmassy, but I get it. Not every day could be like a cinnamon peppermint, because then it would be all the same. So, still a very good idea. This is very heavy. It's too heavy. Suspiciously heavy. Just by looking at the image, I'm guessing that nobody would guess what this is on the inside. This is a popcorn advent calendar, because nothing says countdown to Christmas like different flavored popcorn. Nothing more Christian than popped corn. So this one is in order actually, so it starts at number one and it kind of goes all the way. This is very difficult to read for a colorblind person. I am kind of losing my mind here. Oh my God, it's all the same color to me. I just realized it's like three different colors to you. Christmas decoration is my personal nightmare as a colorblind person, that's all I'm gonna say. So this is all different popcorns. I don't understand how they're gonna fit popcorn in here. One single kernel, that is the only way. So let's see what number one is all about. It says on here, this calendar isn't like any other. It is for popcorn connoisseur, popcorn lover, and a kid at heart. I wouldn't call myself either of them. Oh, how paper cut. This is a nightmare to open, do you see this? <gasps> It's corn! It's just corn! They gave me a bag of kernels! Are you kidding me? It's red popcorn! I don't care what color it is, I can't even see it! I don't want it to be red, I want it to be cooked! I want it to be popped! Oh my god, I spent money on something that I have to make myself. I feel lightheaded. On the 2nd of December, please be cooked popcorn. It's a bag of dill pickle? Like what? It's literally a bag of powder that says dill pickle on it. I... Is this adding up to anyone else? So you get the popcorn on the first and then you can't do anything with it. Then you get a bag of seasoning. I, these people have completely lost it. I don't understand the logic behind this. On the third, We've got... White popcorn! White popcorn! No, because this is when I go and ask for a refund. They did not tell me that I was gonna have to cook this. A bag of... Buttery jalapeno powder? At which point can I still ask for a refund? Wait! This whole thing is one day of corn, which is a mix of the first two days, one day of spices, which is white cheddar. Feeling lightheaded. Day number seven, corn. Day number eight, baby back? Baby back ribs. When they said connoisseur, we have different meanings. We're reading the wrong dictionary. This is purple corn. I literally couldn't care less about the color of the corn if it's not cooked. And you can't even make this in the microwave. What is this white powder? This is buttered sweet corn. More corn. 12. Sweet caramel. 13. Let me guess. Corn. Let me guess. No, I can't guess. <laughs> Zesty cheddar. They're just coming up with different names for cheese. They're all the same, different names. 15. Yellow popcorn, 16. Creamy ranch. They do get creative with the flavors, I'll give them that. Makes me want to try them. On the 17th, we've got movie theater seasoning. Okay, this one has me interested. On the 18th, we've got corn. On the 19th, they're switching things up. They put corn in a row. 20th. This is... 
Salted caramel. 21st, we're getting towards the end. Corn. By the way, each bag of corn is differently filled, so it's really confusing. 22nd. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay, that one had me interested as well. 23rd, these are the two most important ones, the very last ones. On the 23rd, I'm gonna guess corn. Yeah. The 23rd is corn. Now on the 24th is gonna be the most rotten, cursed flavor that you can think of. I'm just guessing that. It's gonna be like Santa Claus blended with elf reindeer flavor. The 24th is French toast. Maybe that's where you should be, in the trash. Guys, I'm so, I, I expected popcorn. I did think it was really heavy. I was like, something is not adding up here, but I gotta make my own popcorn. You know what, I'm gonna be honest, nobody wants 24 days of making popcorn every day. That's not even microwavable. Like if it was microwavable, if it came in a little microwave bag, Maybe, and this is just maybe. Let me see how you cook this. It doesn't really say how you should cook this. Interesting. It doesn't even tell you how you add the seasoning. No, no instructions. I guess you just cook this with a little bit of oil. Do you guys want to see that? I mean, let me know in the comments. Should we try? This is an insane amount of popcorn in insane flavors. I just want to say the movie theater seasoning looks very mysterious. That's not giving... Oh my god, that is so salty. I can kind of see how that would be movie theater. It's the most artificial butter flavor. Do you guys want to see this put to action? I mean, I own this now, so we got to do something with it. So ideas, keep them coming or just come to my house and I'll just, I'll do like a little drive through. You guys drive by and I'll give you a bag of popcorn. This is the only way. If you were not that excited for the tea one, you might be more of a coffee person. So this, is 12 days of Christmas coffees. And I think this is specifically only Christmas flavors for 12 days. So obviously it's not ideal that it's not 24, but the fact that every single one of these is a Christmas scent and a different one, that's pretty incredible. The annoying thing with this one is you do know what coffees you're gonna get each day. So I don't know if that's a terrible thing for a coffee because you're probably looking forward to tomorrow's one anyways. You can just pixelate with your eyes. like. Just imagine like this is pixelated. If you squint a little bit, it might be fine. <laughs> Even if the coffee is incredible, if the flavors are incredible, you know, it's not probably the best way to present an advent calendar, but let me show you the flavors and you guys might change your mind. I just want to say, I hate when they do this with the negative space. I would normally be okay with it, but in this economy, this is, it makes me extra mad. Every single day you do get a different flavor. I'm assuming this will be like the fourth, uh, wait, 20th? 11th? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying numbers now and hoping that one of you guys figures it out in the comments. Mathematicians, please come through. Whatever it is, this will be the 24th. So 24, 23rd, 22nd, 21st, 15, 14th. So this would be the 13th of December. Wow, I was really sweating, like, I can't believe saying the numbers backwards is a challenge for me now. So this is like an instant coffee capsule for the Keurig machines. So we've got French vanilla coffee, spiced eggnog, Chocolate Coconut Blizzard, oh, Donut Shop Blend, Gingerbread Coffee, French Roast, okay, that one is not very Christmassy, Candy Cane, Hot Buttered Rum, Link, who comes up with this? Glazed Cinnamon Roll, Christmas Cookie Coffee, Peppermint Mocha, and Roasted Chestnut Coffee. Roasted Chestnut is the 24th. It's also the one that I really wanna try. So we're definitely trying the roasted chestnut, which is the 24th. Ooh, I wanna pick a weird one. It's between gingerbread or chocolate coconut blizzard. You know what? I'm gonna go for spiced eggnog. I've never had eggnog. Wait, I'm not gonna like it, am I? Let's save that for a different video. Gingerbread coffee. So we got one gingerbread and one roasted chestnut. And with the magic of YouTube, we've got a coffee machine lined up. We're gonna start with the gingerbread coffee. This would be the one that I'm probably the least excited for out of these two. Pour the water. By the way, I just wanna let you guys know that this specific coffee machine, it's either broken or it's the worst coffee machine in the world because that's why. <laughs> that's exactly why. I don't know why it never works when I wanted to. I can never figure out how this works. 
This coffee machine just takes a long time. It makes the same coffees as any other coffee machine, except it costs a lot less. I think this is like, you can probably get it for like $70, while a normal coffee machine would be like 200. So a little slow, but we love it just the same. My mom when I was born. Wait, I need to get the first whiff. You know that Starbucks says the gingerbread latte? Wait, I might buy another one of these. I need the other 12 days of Christmas. With these coffees, sometimes it's very artificial. I'm not getting no artificial gingerbread. Okay, so there we go. It's just black coffee, there's nothing to see. So I'm gonna add some sweetener. Just because I never have my coffee black, it would just be unfair. And let's give it a try, let's give it a swirl. The smell, 10 out of 10. It needs a little bit more sweetener. I'm not used to this much of a dark roast. Where was this roasted? A black hole? That is a delicious coffee. It gives gingerbread, but not in the way that you're thinking, which is like the artificial kind of like syrupy. It's more like a realistic like cinnamon spice <laughs> cookie, buttery, almost kind of thing. It is an incredible cup of coffee. This with milk would be even better. And now, I've never had a chestnut coffee, so this is the one that I'm excited for because I've never had a chestnut coffee. Why is the coffee machine smoking? Anyways, so I'm gonna pour the water once again. And now we wait for about 30 years. Okay, we need to get the smell. That smells like a doctor's office. I'm like making sure we didn't put the eggnog one. It smells like an alcoholic drink, like whiskey or something. Suddenly I'm not thirsty. I'm not thirsty. Let me do the sweetener already. Start fighting these demons already. Turns out, maybe I don't like chestnuts. Smell, one out of 10. It's actually not as bad as I thought, but it's still pretty bad. I can't imagine staying, I can't imagine every day for like, not 24, 12 days, waiting for the final coffee and I hope you're thirsty for nothing, literally. I mean, it's actually quite something. It's, um, how would I describe this? 50% whiskey, 50% wet paint. That's the best way to describe this. Um, Merry Christmas. I really want to drink it for the video. <laughs> mm. The traditional advent calendar, it's usually chocolate. So when I was looking for weird advent calendars for this video, I was thinking what else would be unconventional to put in an advent calendar, but still enjoyable. And let me introduce to you a biscuit or cookie advent calendar. These are chocolate chips and shortbread inside advent calendar houses. Well, I'm hoping because this is closed. I had to ship this all the way from England. I didn't want to tell you guys, but I think this is the one from last year because it was slightly cheaper. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the one from last year. This is the advent calendar for 2021. This is 2022. This is fine. Anyways, I'm not gonna check anything else it'll be fine this is fine what's christmas without mild diarrhea i don't know if this brand is popular in america so americans please let me know but this is a very popular brand in the uk they i would say are the most popular shortbread brand i just thought it was so exciting that they did advent calendars so inside oh my god this is the most beautiful Advent calendar I've ever seen. I'm gonna cry. It's a cookie biscuit advent calendar and it's also like a story. This is so freaking cool. If you guys love Christmas stuff, I'm sure you know exactly what I mean. It's like a beautiful storybook or something. Let's do the usual and throw our emotions and feelings out of the window and just enjoy a snack. I love the advent calendars when you have to look for the dice because that was always my favorite part as a kid. This is the first on the 1st of December. We got. <gasps> oh, that looks expired. <laughs> it's a cookie. See, there was a reason why this was 50% off. Um, it's probably not the ideal shape for like a, a cookie, but it's not fully broken. So that's number one. 
I wonder if there's something different each day. No, that would be too much. I just want something special on the 24th. That's all I'm asking for with this one. Okay, so this is the second. The second is like a window. I'm like, open up. I just want to talk. <laughs> this truly doesn't open up. <gasps> Oh, it's like a long shortbread, which I actually think this is like the traditional shape for shortbread. This is really cool. I would be very excited. I'd be like, I would do like day number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all in the first 20 minutes of opening this. I mean, that's what I'm doing. The third is the biggest one so far. These are so difficult to open. Oh, this is so cute. Wait, I think they put in the wrong one. <laughs> It's a hard shape. According to the box, it should be a star. Do you see the, there's a little star logo on it? I am confused. I think we might get something different each day. That would be crazy. So on the fourth, we've got a square chocolate chip. So these are actually in really good shape considering this came all the way from the UK and also from last year. Number five is the same as day three. So day number five is a long shortbread. Six is another square. So there's a lot of repetition in this one, but I'm just hoping the 24th will be special. So let's get to the 24th. Wait, this one's really cute. It's a turkey. Is that a turkey? That's a turkey. So on the seventh, it's like a mini pie and there's like a turkey print on it. I don't want to open all of them because I want to enjoy them. Oh, the eighth is a window. Oh, all the windows are basically long shortbread. Nine is... A chocolate chip cookie, 10, chocolate chip square, the variety. Me when I make a part seven to the same video. Number 11 is a long shortbread. 12 is a shortbread heart. 13, where's 13? Long shortbread. Imagine if the graphic designer just missed the day. 14th is a turkey. So there's quite a lot of repetition with this one, but I mean, I can't expect them to make so many different shapes of cookies. A square, 18 is a heart, 19 is a long shortbread, 20th is all these chocolate chip cookies, I think broke. I think I accidentally stepped in one of the advent calendars yesterday and I couldn't remember which one. I think we found the reason. What was the reason? That was the reason. 21st is long shortbread. Okay, this is when it gets spicy. I just expect something different for the 24th. So on the 22nd, got a turkey. The 23rd, maybe we could get something special. So this is the 23rd. Okay, this is just a chocolate chip cookie. Please give me something special on the 24th. Even though they've been pretty generous, just nine variety. So this is the 24th. <gasps> Please be something special. It's a, it's a star. <laughs> Why is it broken? Oh my God, no, the star broke. It looks like an Ouija board. On the 24th day of Christmas, I got a Ouija board pin. On the 24th of Christmas, we contact the Holy Spirit directly. <laughs> like this is really, that would freak me out. As a kid, I would open this and I'd be like, I guess I'm not sleeping for the next two months. It will take a lot of therapy that my parents can't afford. So that concludes all the all the biscuit advent calendars. Out of all the advent calendars that we tried, I think this was probably the most conventional one, but I just think the presentation was so cool in the end that they made something original out of it. So I wanna try the shortbread and the chocolate chip cookie. Oh man, the chocolate chip cookie is gonna be so good. Now I'm gonna save these for Christmas. These are my favorite cookies ever. Let's try the cookie. That is better than I remembered. That is pretty damn good. I don't think I've ever had one with the chocolate chips. Yep. Oh my god. I can't imagine a better advent calendar. I would prefer this over chocolate any day. And just like that, we closed the advent calendar chapter for this year. This was a lot of fun. There's something about advent calendars that it's like filled with nostalgia. It just reminds me of being a kid. And especially when I was a kid, my mom would buy us literally 
the worst quality chocolate advent calendar. It was so bad that chocolate probably didn't even qualify as chocolate. I would always see these crazy advent calendars and I always wanted to like open them and try them and play with it, eat it. I think every year for the past years we've done advent calendar videos because that's how much I enjoy it and it's such a huge like part of Christmas for me. So I hope that you guys enjoy that as well. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on. I really appreciate it. If I do a part two or if I do similar videos to this one, you'll be notified. I love you guys. Merry Christmas and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye bye.